Basketball and IndyCar. Does it get any more Indiana than that? The Fever just wrapped up their home opener. Unfortunately, didn't go all that well at the Fieldhouse tonight. But we've also got the Indy 500 now just over a week away. And the Pacers have a crucial Game 6 tomorrow. So we've got team coverage on all of the excitement in our city. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Virchelle Edmang. Now the Indiana Fever is celebrating their 25th anniversary mm -hmm. season and the home debut of Caitlin Clark. There she was, and of course, to round of applause and cheers in GameBridge, Clark was the number one overall pick in the WNBA draft and is considered one of the best college basketball players ever. The former Iowa star holds multiple NCAA records, and now she has brought her talents here to Indy. Now, while it wasn't the home opener that they hoped for, fans still filled GameBridge to cheer them on. Yeah, Fox 59's Alexa Ross is live downtown with a look at what happened on the court tonight. Hey, Alexa. Hey guys, yeah, this wasn't the debut that Caitlin Clark certainly hoped for. She knew that there was going to be a lot of people in the crowd, a lot of excitement, and they did confirm it was a sellout, but unfortunately, a sold out crowd had to watch a really brutal loss. She was introduced to roaring applause, as you might expect, as she was introduced for the first time. She started off the scoring for the fever, but she didn't get another bucket until the third quarter. Clark finished with nine points, seven rebounds, six assists, and three turnovers. It was wasn't the outing that fans expected from her or that her teams, her teammates hoped to have as the Fever fall 102 to 66. Clark did not come to the podium after the game, after the loss, but her teammates said they need to do better in supporting her. People are playing her hard. People are playing her aggressively. Um, we can do a better job of trying to help her get some space and help her get some freedom. Um, but, you know, we trust her and we want to keep figuring out how to work with her in the best way. And um, like I said, I think we can continue to help her get some space because teams are really, really, really hounding her full court, 94 feet. So um, we got to do some stuff as a unit to just flow better with that. Even though it didn't go as they hoped, they do have the ability to bounce back against the Liberty again. They play the Liberty this weekend, this time in New York. Now they know what they're going to see. As they say, you know, this is going to be a learning curve, but they just need to stay strong and keep it moving, even though they're starting the season 0 and 2. I'll have much more next hour at News Point in sports. Live from Gamebridge Fieldhouse, Alexa Ross, Fox 59 Sports. Alexa, thank you. Now the Fever are expected to play in front of sold out crowds, record crowds all around the country this season. Hey, Peyton Manning had a tough first season too, right? Mm -hmm. This is just the second game. Clark already has certainly become a household name since becoming a standout player at Iowa, and she's truly been inspiring the younger generation already. Fox 59's Claire Curry live downtown talking with fans tonight about Caitlin Clark's impact. Hey, Claire. That's right. Fans near and far came to show out for the fever in their home opening game, and I caught up with some of them on what they're looking forward to for the rest of this season. Hundreds eager for the first fever game in Indy showed out, even some without tickets wanting to feel the energy before watching the game on their screens at home. We do a lot of basketball stuff together, so it's a fun time. Lots of young families in attendance to take in the electric environment. One future basketball star came with her teammates and already has plans to come back to Gamebridge with them again. This is my first one to fever and I'm going on Monday. And another young fan found out she was coming to the game just hours before. We're so excited. It's her 11th birthday, so we were able to surprise her with these tickets, and we're just so excited to be here. And most of them will be watching for jersey number 22. She can shoot from half court. Clark's fans came from Ohio, Philadelphia, and some just came down the road to cheer her on. Two attendees say they didn't miss a single game when she was in Iowa and don't plan on missing any while she's here with the fever. She can shoot from pretty much anywhere on the court. Um, she's definitely a distributor. She can pass the ball, get everybody points. Not only is she an asset to the team, but fans add she's a role model for other young female athletes that are filling the stands tonight. I think that's why I brought my kids here because she is such an idol and such a respectable basketball player too. So I'm looking forward to my kids having somebody to look up to. While this wasn't a win, everyone I spoke to say they are excited to see what's next for the fever and the rest of the season. Reporting live downtown, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News.